Hello from Arlington, Texas. We're live inside Globe Life Field, an AL West matchup on the show. It's the Houston Astros and the Texas Rangers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So two away with nobody on. Now it's the power speed combo. Jay Mack. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Mack. Ground ball to the right side. Can't field it cleanly, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Welcome back. Ready to go. Bottom four. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jay Mack. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. Ground ball right side, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard at all, but to keep up in it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. And now it's Nunez. His first at bat was a strikeout. The 1-1. One -one. And another ball. Well, it made it so comfortable for his club to secure that win. Very fresh team today, and it doesn't have to be all on him. But the way he's been swinging it, I expect him to have another big one. Here comes a pitch. Liner, base hit. Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Throw to second, save. And here is Armando Flores. Next pitch is inside. Two and two. Get your pitch. Oh, big guy. Get your pitch, huh? The pitch. And a swing and a miss. And one out now. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Freddie Cash. One for one with a single so far. Now, yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Mack, the lead runner out at second. Nunez over at first with one away. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boog. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. One down. Kyron Paris stepping in for the Rangers. Bounce to the left side, and it gets by him to first and he beats it everyone's safe tough play on a nice backhand stop had to be perfect with the exchange and throw to get the out but it looked like he had to dig in there a little deeper like he was trying to get a split finger grip or something close play but that little extra time on the transfer made all the difference here's a big power threat jay mack great speed and great power a great athlete quite simply He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. He's got it. Runner tags from third. Tag, not in time. He's safe. It's 4-3. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. So one out, nobody on. Next, it'll be the Texas DH, Jay Mack. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but 
when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Bounced up the middle. Knocks it down to first, and he beats it. Late in the game with the offense trying to play catch up, they're looking for any momentum they can get, any kind of opportunity to get back in this game, and an error can certainly do that. Let's see if that turns into something right here. Now it's going to be Willie Nunez. The tying run at the plate. Activity in the Houston bullpen. Johnny Maddox appears to be getting loose. Coley warming up as well. Throw to first. Here's the tag, and he's out. No outs. Runner at first. Now here is Jay Mack. This guy with light tower power. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And the first offering is not close. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. The 1 2. Stays alive. Well, notice they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, you'll be asking for a new baseball. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Gone! That fires up the home crowd. His 37th homer of the year. And we have a tie ball game. It's 5-5. pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips it was trouble right on a platter right down the heart of the plate I'm sorry but big league hitters don't miss that pitch and okay, this one ends with the score eight to five for Chris Singleton and our entire crew I'm John Chompy saying so long